Hey everybody, Chef AJ here. You know, I've been vegan for 43 years and I've been a loyal Trader Joe's shopper for even longer. It is one of the most vegan friendly stores you will ever find. So many have asked me to do a Trader Joe's shopping haul, but since I do what's known as bulk shopping, it wouldn't really give you an idea of all the amazing vegan products there. So let's take a look at what's in the store. In the refrigerated section, we have so many things. Now, of course, not everything is SOS free because most vegans eat sugar, oil, and salt, but they have amazing things like guacamole, all different kinds of salsa, even a baba ganoush that doesn't have oil. They've got all kinds of dips and they're delicious. They have pasta sauces as well. And everything is reasonably priced. Look at that dill pickle hummus and the best customer service ever. Everybody that works at Trader Joe's is always so friendly and so helpful. They get the best people, I'll tell you. Whenever I'm recognized as Chef AJ, I'll tell you, it's always a Trader Joe's, my favorite store. I live next door to one for over 25 years. So sorry about the jerky camera movement. I'm not the best at doing this, but of course, lots of bread that are vegan, lots of baked goods that are vegan, all different kinds and absolutely delicious. The chocolate chip cookies I'm told are actually Uncle Eddie's. I don't know if that's true, but they're delicious. So if you do eat sugar and flour and oil and salt, you will have a treasure trove of delicious baked goods there. I like their corn tortillas because they basically only have corn and their prices are ridiculous. And of course they have others that have gluten and all kinds of lavash breads and everything is so fresh. I've just never had to return anything at Trader Joe's. It was great when I lived next door because I could go there every single day. I miss you guys at the Sherman Oaks store, Robert, Luis. So again, lots of different kinds of breads, even the uh, Ezekiel bread that a lot of people like that is sprouted, all kinds of nut butters. And oh, I love their jam. I use them for my jam bars. Look at these, these have no added sugar. They come in raspberry, super fruit and strawberry. Boy, are these delicious. I use them as a topping for my jam bars. And of course they have all other brands as well. A lot of imported items. And of course, most of them have sugar because hey, let's face it, most people eat sugar, but you can get so many healthy items there. It's just great. And they always are well stocked, even during the pandemic. The only thing I saw they were out of was rice and beans. I don't drink coffee, but if you do, you can grind your own and I'm told their coffees are really good. Oops, no reason to show you the dairy section except for the fact that they do have lots of different vegan cheeses. You know, they even have the most wonderful vegan butter made by Miyoko Shinner from Miyoko's Creamery. So they always cater to vegans. I'll tell you, it is the best store ever. If you don't live near one move, I'll tell you when I moved out of LA, that was the prerequisite. They had to have a Trader Joe's. Lots of amazing teas around the holidays. They get one that I love in a beautiful tin that tastes like pumpkin pie. Many of them are caffeine free. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy, I'm making myself dizzy, but I had to be very careful not to shoot any people. They have vegan waffles, gluten-free waffles, all kinds of different frozen things that will tickle your fancy. So if you're eating processed food, you may as well get it from Trader Joe's where the prices are low and the quality is high. But they actually do have some that are pretty healthy. So you do have to read the labels and see what's in there. Always look for zero milligrams of cholesterol if you're vegan. That means it's vegan. A lot of their things are kosher, as you can see by that U with the circle. The shredded hash browns. Now, I believe theirs have either sugar or salt, but hey, they're, yeah, a little bit of sugar. Dextrose, there are some brands that don't, but they've got all kinds of different frozen potato products. You'll see, let's see, what, what did I just pick up? I don't even know anymore. Lots of, lots of burgers that are made from veggies and beans. Look at that vegetable masala burger and they have different kinds of bean burgers. So you can get them there as well, as well as the meatless sausage patties and the morning star. So they often have their brand and another brand, always lots of different kinds of crispy crackers and boxed things. They have lots of vegan and non-dairy desserts, including some really amazing ice creams. The 
one that I would probably eat if I wasn't allergic to soy and I ate sugar would be this one, the cherry chocolate chip, but so many sorbets you can see in so many different flavors. They're always looking out for us vegans at Trader Joe's and even people that aren't vegan, so many people can't have dairy anyway, so there's always been so many non-dairy choices. And they're always having so many new items, and they have that fearless flyer that talks about them. Oh, the Gone Bananas. I used to love those. It's so much easier than making your own. And all kinds of different popsicles and fruit bars and sorbets. It's just amazing how much of the store is vegan. Cookies as well. I was looking to see if this lemon curd was vegan, but it said cholesterol 30 milligrams, so that means there's animal products. But so many of the cookies are, and uh, it's great that they do this. This would be something probably Dr. Doug Lyle would like, because he loves acai bowls from Jamba Juice, and this is completely uh, vegan and looks pretty good. So for emergencies you have that acai boy lots of organics at trader joe's both in fruits and vegetables i love their frozen blueberries especially the little ones i always have a freezer full of just about every kind of their frozen fruits sometimes they even have plantains which are amazing i use these blends to make overnight oats my husband eats them every day and of course making sorbet in my champion juicer or ice cream and look at that that's something new I love Trader Joe's. There's always seems to be something new every time I go in. And of the frozen vegetables, they have asparagus spears, one that's even grilled and has no oil or salt. I love that one the best. And you can get chopped greens, both organic and conventional. I think my favorite of the frozen vegetables at Trader Joe's are the baby Brussels sprouts. They're 99 cents each. I buy them 24 at a time and I love to have them either microwaved in my Pampered Chef microwave steamer for six minutes or cooked in my air fryer at 400 for 20. But even if you don't like Brussels sprouts, the baby Brussels sprouts from Trader Joe's, they're sweet and tender, give them a chance. The organic corn, it's really, really good. I'm told that nothing at Trader Joe's is, is, has GMO, so the roasted corn doesn't say organic, but it's really, really flavorful and delicious. Great for making salsas always have a bag in my freezer and they've got some ginger and garlic that's frozen and what's nice is there was no oil in this one. Oh, this is one of my favorite items when they were out of it i was just so sad the fire roasted red bell pepper and onions i actually use it to make it the world's best damn barbecue sauce for a quick easy meal you just microwave it or defrost it put in some rice and maybe some broccoli and california balsamic teriyaki vinegar maybe some pineapple I've got a recipe on youtube for that they have one that isn't fire roasted it's good but not as good as the fire roasted i love the purple cauliflower blend i make so many things out of cauliflower so including so many sauces and what else have they got in this amazing freezer section? More salsas that weren't in the refrigerated section, so they have lots of different flavors, chipotle, things like that. And of course, if you eat oil and salt and sugar, you can pretty much eat almost everything in the store except for the animal products. They have regular fries and sweet potato fries and tater tots and all kinds of yummy entrees that are vegan. And of course, some that aren't. And let's see, so, Oh, Akmak crackers, I remember those were very popular. Maybe they still are. So some of their entrees, for example, the uh, this burrito is completely vegan. It's actually pretty low in fat as well, which you can see by looking at the back label. And they also have a burrito that is completely vegan. It's a vegetable burrito. So these are things that a lot of people enjoy. I know that when my friend Toby comes from uh, Germany. He loves this more than anything. He'll have this every day for lunch, the spicy Thai eggplant with some rice. It, it looked and smelled amazing. You know, I, just don't go by me. I haven't eaten processed food in like over 10 years. This is supposed to be really delicious too. Their vegetable pad Thai. I can't imagine it not being. And again, the prices are insanely low. That looks like one I haven't seen, but generally anything with jackfruit is delicious. I just love that they've always catered to vegans, not just now, but like I said, I've been shopping there for over 40 years and I've been vegan for 43 years. They also have a large gluten-free section as well. 
and the vegetable goizas are vegan. I don't know if I showed you this, but the frozen artichoke hearts are my favorite because they come in almost a one pound bag and they don't have any oil or salt. I love the organic grain blends that are frozen. Be careful, the second one, that one has oil that I'm just pointing to, but the organic brown and rice don't, uh, white and don't, three minutes in the microwave, delicious. If you're into portion control, which I'm not, those bags are the perfect size for everyone to enjoy for a quick meal. And I'm sure that most of this candy is probably vegan. They're not, you just have to check the label. Of course, the chips are, all the oils are, but we don't want to eat oil, guys. You know, oil's not good for your hearts, for cars, not for people. I love their unsweetened rice vinegar. And they have other really delicious vinegars, like the, the orange champagne one and the red vinegar, which I use to make marinated onions, and of course, the apple cider vinegar. Lots of different olives and pickles. And here's artichokes in cans. They do have salt, so I do prefer the frozen ones. Hearts of palm, really fun to make things out of them. Bread them and air fry them. When I say bread them, not in bread, but in, in oats, for example. So many nuts and seeds and dried fruit without sugar, without salt, and uh, very great prices. They've got different marinara sauces. Some of them actually don't have oil. So when it says fat-free, that means it's oil free. And what's great about eating a low fat diet is you get to eat way more food. So that does have sugar and salt. Unfortunately, it had black pepper too, which I'm allergic to. So, but for those that aren't, that's a great choice and it's very good. So many canned products that are salt free. Their tomato paste, their tomatoes. The balsamic glaze is a very good price and it's really, really good for roasting vegetables. And they've got the, the fire roasted tomatoes as well. Some of them have the little chilies in them. So really it, it's a one-stop shop. All kinds of pasta, even gluten-free ones, the one ingredient pasta like the lentil or the bean pasta as well as all the rice and quinoa pastas and of course the regular pastas which have wheat but nothing really with the white pastas. I don't think they have any white bread or white uh, flour there. Oh, I love their organic quinoa in tri-colors. That's one of my favorites. You can make so many things uh, out of quinoa. And I wish my husband wasn't allergic to it because we don't get to really eat it in this house, but I do like it. I love so many of their dried fruits. They have a watermelon jerky that is unbelievable. And I love their golden raisins. And I love that they have uh, cherries without any sugar. Some of the dried fruit may have it, but most of it don't. Don't, excuse my language, doesn't. I don't, <laughs> where did I go to school for English? Yeah, so these are great for like if you camp or you travel. These, these, and they're very crunchy, the ones that are in the package. So those are great. And uh, they, have, they have soy sauce, they have coconut aminos. They've got lots of different sauces. Oh, they have jackfruit in a can. It has some salt, so you might want to rinse it, but you can make curries out of that. All kinds of different ketchups, mustards, capers, hot sauces. It's funny, my husband likes their mustard better than any other brand for some reason. He just doesn't like it when I buy it anywhere else. The only thing they really don't have at Trader Joe's that I would maybe get somewhere else is salt-free beans, but they have lots of beans and you can certainly rinse them. You can see there's cannellini and kidney beans and garbanzo beans and black beans and all kinds of dried things like lentils that they have. And they have both organic and not organic. They've got a whole bunch of different broths and little soup cups that uh, you can just add water to. And they have, actually, you can see butternut squash soup, different soups, uh, creamy tomato soup with red pepper. So these, most of these box soups are actually vegan. And I don't know what nori could, I don't even know what that is, but uh, always read the label. And things like baking powder, baking soda. These are great prices on the cacao powder, by the way. And it's organic and fair trade. So that's a very good brand as well. And lots of little box mixes for cornbread and things like that and cakes. The almond meal is great if you want to make Miyoko Shin or Caesar salad dressing. And this is a pretty good cocoa powder as well. And if you want to look at labels to see if there's any cholesterol so you can see that it is vegan, always read the label because sometimes things are processed in a plant that also does milk. So if you're allergic, maybe not so good. All different kinds of maple syrups and agaves. I love the pears and peaches because I reuse the jars and make barefoot dressing, salad dressing as gifts for people. And I use the peaches and pears to make my whipped cream. Those recipes is in my book, Date with Dessert. Single serving size applesauce in different flavors, organic and not organic in jars. Sugar, one third of the evil trinity. 
but they do sell that and more salsas different flavors I mean it's amazing how the store is usually only about four rows <laughs> they have thousands of products look at that look at these huge watermelons for $3.99 it was so big that I needed help lifting it and look at the asparagus they have amazing produce at Trader Joe's you know really when i look at um, my receipts it's oh jicama wraps every day i have these for lunch i you can put rice and veggies in it i just put my salad in them bet much better prices than any other store for the jicama wraps those are my favorite and look now they have a little cauliflower pizzas there and of course they have some tofu this is the kind that is in water and they have flavored tofus too that are really really delicious I again I'm allergic to soy so I I can't eat those but I'm sure they're delicious I'm told they're delicious by people that do eat them and they have a lot of prepackaged salads and of course some of them have meat and cheese but a lot of them don't and the, you know the dressing is on the side so you can either add it or not add it but look at all the different ones that they have and they're always having new things all the time I mean that's the cool thing about Trader Joe's is what's new they have a big section and there's always something new but what's not new at Trader Joe's is unparalleled customer service and great prices and great products and vegan friendly and uh, you know I have no stake in the company I just love Trader Joe's oh these cherries these these stemmet ones oh my god they're like guaranteed sweet I am eating like a pound a day of those the very cherry plums are so good it's a cross between a cherry and a plum they have a lot of unusual and exotic fruit like I say lots of organic I love their organic blueberries and pomegranate seeds all different kinds of grapes I love to take their grapes and freeze them to make my sorbets and all oh, these these little uh, this is my well there's no movies right now but when there was this was my movie snack very unusual fruit it sort of tasted like sweet tarts and I encourage you to try them if you're lazy they even cut up the apple for you but they have lots of apples there that aren't cut up including my very favorite beloved envy apple a lot of the things already come up cut up like the jicama sticks and I know you're gonna say the plastic the plastic okay well you know we don't have farmers markets where I live so I gotta shop somewhere and this is where I shop they have great price on saffron lots of delicious spices they have the everything bagel seasoning I don't eat salt so I do get that somewhere else but for those that do it's a delicious seasoning and they've got all kinds of different spices and rubs which of course are vegan and no oil some do have salt but again read the label lots of different pepper blends and the garlic you can that's I love this when I don't have garlic and this is it uh, doesn't have any of the weird stuff in it you know like the oil yes there is some citric acid so you know um, this one look, some of the new seasoning blends look really interesting to me and I was considering trying them one of them I believe had ghost peppers in them so I'm thinking I don't know might be too hot but might be worth a try yeah that was the one it says it doesn't get much hotter than this and it doesn't get much hotter than where I live now in the desert and thank God they have three Trader Joe's lots of organic greens some cut up some not bagged lettuces I do reuse all my bags many many times power greens I love their baby arugula they have all these different dressings that are actually um, a lot of those I would eat that um, that they have and many are vegan believe it or not and one of my favorite things here I said is the baby arugula I love putting it on almost every soup that I eat like cauliflower bisque a lot of salad kits shredded carrots for my little girl Bailey because she needs everything cut up really really small and I have an injury and can barely use my right arm so need to buy things already done for me now I love those colored baby carrots they're my favorite oh these French ones oh my god they're like for it when I used to fly that was my favorite thing they're do they taste better than any carrot and the purple ones you know carrots were originally purple until the Dutch hybridized them and oh this is so great for making my Mediterranean kale you'll find that recipe on YouTube it tastes just like pizza they have all different kinds of organic kales now cut up and washed which is a godsend because I haven't really had use of my arm for about seven months now so thank God for Trader Joe's those butternut zigzags are great air fried and the butternut cubes are great for making my smoky butternut bisque the broccoli slaw is amazing in a salad and there's cauliflower big head organic you gotta try my cauliflower bisque and they also have purple and orange cauliflower they've got corn 
and I love the baby broccolini. It's so good, it's steamed or air fried. So this was a really fun item and it's completely compliant. It's just vegetables and I marinated those in California balsamic uh, seven herb Italian and I, I put them, you could put them on the grill. I did them in the air fryer. So great, it's done for you. And the rice cauliflower is fantastic. It's, uh, it's great in salads, cabbage. One thing they don't have, and if anybody from Trader Joe's is listening to this, I really like purple cabbage. I wish you had shredded purple cabbage. That would be my one wish. If Trader Joe's could accommodate Chef AJ, I would like to see shredded purple carriage and purslane. Delicious organic uh, herbs. I love their mint. Oh, the shaved Brussels sprouts are great, especially if you don't like Brussels sprouts, but they have so many different kinds of Brussels sprouts from the frozen to the fresh. Don't ask me why. Trader Joe's organic broccoli is the best. When they're out of it, I flip out because the conventional, it just doesn't taste good. Their organic broccoli tastes better than any broccoli I've had. The fennel salad, uh, well, my fennel salad called farm salad, with their fennel, delicious. I love their shishito peppers, air fried. I'll do a video on that. I love that the garlic comes peeled. I love their bags of onions because they are exactly the right size for all my recipes. And the lentils, you can make my lentil loaf with those. So those are great, they're already cooked. The baby beets, you can make my bodacious beet salad. Love their microgreens. I mean, this is just like the best store. I mean, I'm surprised that they can just offer such great prices. The Asian stir fry, fantastic in either in a salad. Oh, this crunchy salad is so great just as an adjunct to whatever salad you have. I mean, I could just live in their produce section. They have mirepoix, so you don't have to cut anything up. So when you make my stuffed acorn squash, they have mirepoix already made in exactly the right amount. Their sugar snap peas, both organic and conventional, delicious, fresh or or even cooked. They're, if they taste like candy, basically. So if you're struggling eating vegetables, try their sugar snap peas. I love that their leeks are washed. You guys know leeks are such a dirty vegetable. I love their portobello mushrooms. I marinate them in California balsamic, seven herb, and then I grill them. I love their organic Persian cucumbers. I love their zoo. I mean, there's not really not much I don't love about. I love everything about Trader Joe's. I love their organic zucchini, and they have, of course, organic celery. Uh, I love their scallions. I love you, Trader Joe's. Seriously, you are just my favorite store in the whole world. They've got herbs that sometimes they sell even like in little uh, like flower pot type things, which is kind of cool. So if you need more herbs and you'll get them there. And I know I've probably missed a few things and since shooting this video, I've been back and I've seen things like they have a rice pudding and, and an oatmeal and things like that that I missed because I was really trying very hard to be respectful and not getting any humans in this, which isn't easy when you have a popular store like that. Bell peppers in every single color. Their produce section is so enticing. Lemons and limes, grapefruits of all kinds, and different kinds of oranges and pineapple and mango, of course. 99 cents for a mango. That's amazing. Kiwi. Did you know you guys can eat the skin? Dr. Greger does. He taught me to do that. Different kinds of peaches. You can see the prices right there. Nectarines. Look at that. Plums. Oh, got somebody's foot, but we couldn't tell who that is, so we're probably okay. Figs. Apricots. Apriums, don't know what those are, but they've got them. All kinds of apples, and in the fall, sometimes they have even other ones. My favorite would be the Envy apple, but they have all kinds. And cuties, of course, more limes. They often have Meyer lemons. Maybe that, those were Meyer lemons. Pears. And bananas. I think bananas, how they're 25 cents each. They used to be 19 cents each, but still, it's pretty good. Yeah, they've got the Honeycrisp apples are fantastic. And you can see a lot of the apples are organic. So some are, some aren't. But the Envy is really the Envy of all apple. I got to tell you, if you haven't tried an Envy apple, you haven't lived. Love their cherry tomato blends and their heirloom tomatoes. 
And if you haven't tried the Kumara tomatoes, you've got to try those, the brown ones. All kinds of potatoes. They have the Japanese sweet potatoes and they have the Murasaki, which is what I eat almost every single day for lunch. And of course, I buy these onions to make my marinated onions for my salad. Those are the Kamados. Those are the brown ones. They're amazing. It could be a good movie snack too. And I love the different colored ones as well. Lots of fresh herbs, as I mentioned. Their basil's really good on my Mediterranean kale dish. Shallots, garlic. What don't they have? I think the only two things they don't have that I want is purslane and purple cabbage. Other than that, I don't need to go anywhere else. I love the mini bell peppers. They're great air fried. Look how cute these little potatoes are. And they do have lots of organic potatoes, even if I'm not showing it right now. They have the russets in organic, the red ones are organic, and the uh, Yukon Golds, and they come in four or five pound bags. You've got to try my bagel recipe made with these potatoes. They're so creamy and delicious. And here you go, organic sweet potatoes. And the Murasaki. You have not lived until you've eaten those. I, I can't imagine life without these. This is the most delicious food on the planet. It, it, it's just unparalleled in taste and texture. Like I said, I eat these, this or a Hannah Yam every day for lunch. Oh yes, that's the one other thing Trader Joe's doesn't sell are Hannah Yams. So Trader Joe's, if you're watching, Chef AJ would like you to sell Hannah Yams, Purslane, and Purple Cabbage. If you do that, I will never go to another store ever. Pitted dates. I live in India, the date capital of the world. I love that they have pitted and non-pitted. They have both organic and not organic. And plum cots mangoes for 99 cents. That's Dr. Hans Deal's favorite fruit. Lots of different sauces, baked beans, barbecue sauces, all the different plant milks. And a lot of them are also in the refrigerated section where it's just the ingredient and the water. So for example, almonds and water without any of the things in there, but their prices are very good. And you know, here's one soybean, just water and soybeans. I mean, that's like as clean as you get. And there's quite a few like that. I like the one that is just two ingredients, which is almonds and water, which would be in the refrigerated section. They've got coconut water somewhere around here. I think is this is the aisle. And oatmeal or and little packages of oatmeal that you can add, but I like I just get this one. This is the one we use, the gluten-free oats. Really terrific prices. Gotta have the chia seeds, of course, to make the oats. So we get those there as well as the flax seed, which you can get ground or whole. Just make sure you grind it yourself if it's whole because you won't assimilate it. And if it's ground, make sure you get it in the freezer right away. They've got hemp seeds. You can use that to make your own milk if you want by just adding water. Lots of box cereals, all vegan. So many choices. You won't believe it. They have Joe's O's. Look at that. And they've got all kinds of uh, beverages that are soda or soda-like but don't have sugar. A lot of times it's just the fruit and the water or the fruit juice and the water. They, I'm not a supplement fan other than taking B12, but they have lots of them if you do like that kind of thing. And the prices seem great. Same thing, not a fan of protein powders, but they've got them and they've got vegan ones. So uh, the, back in the day, I used to love those Cliff Bars and now they're coming in so many flavors that I'll probably never get to try, but those are probably great for the kids and people that can afford the extra calories. Lots of the different bars. Lara Bars would probably be the cleanest and they definitely sell those and quite a few of the flavors. Rows and rows, aisles of smiles such a clean store too. Their melons are always good. I love their cantaloupe, making my cantaloupe ginger soup with them, with their melons all the time. And little snacks for the kids, seaweed snacks. They'll have some salt, but these are pretty healthy and all kinds of crunchies. You know, those will probably have oil, maybe not quite as healthy, but hey, some people can eat that stuff and not be sick and overweight. If that's you, knock yourself out. Again, more salsas. Of many different kinds. Lots of bean dips. Actually, some that have actually no fat. They have some refried bean dips with no fat. But look at the, I mean, the store, except for the meat and the eggs and the dairy, it's like a vegan store. All these different juices that you can make things with, like the soup with the vegetable ones, and they've got the tart cherry juice, which is just cherry. So those are you with gout. Those are great. And uh, I get the apple juice that's unfiltered. So my husband likes a little bit of sweetening in his oatmeal, 
but not from sugar, so that's what we use right there. Yeah, they, actually it's that one we use and they have ginger brew if you like that. And the, the sodas they have are, like I said, many of them are just fruit juice and water. I sometimes get the Spindthrift one, which is just a little bit of juice and water and it's like anywhere between zero and 17 calories. Lots of different types of club sodas and uh, seltzer waters that are flavored. So that's uh, much better than drinking, you know, standard soda for sure. And they have so many different flavors. I said grapefruit's my favorite. There we got some water, we've got some coconut water, we've got some club sodas, different flavors and plain mineral waters, teas, and stuff. Greeting cards, by the way, always 99 cents. You can just look at the big shots of some of the aisles. More sauces that I didn't get to. They also sell dog food if uh, you have a dog and probably cat food as well. I've never noticed because I don't have a cat. Wish I did. Yep, there we go. Dog and cat food. Uh, that is not vegan, by the way. Uh, but yes, they have it there. And paper products. You know, toilet paper, paper towels, great prices, eco-friendly soaps and dishwashing detergents and things like that and, uh, you know, skin care products and hair care products and things like that. Again, all vegan, not tested on animals, eco-friendly, amazing prices, uh, Tom's of Maine toothpaste and things like that that you can get. And then of course, uh, there's a juice that I love there and it's a green juice. Hopefully we'll get a close up of that. There we go. It's cold pressed. It's delicious. And I get about this, about four servings out of that. So $5.99 for that. It's really good. If you've ever bought a juice at a juice place, it's like $8 for like almost nothing. So that's my favorite juice from Trader Joe's. I love this green juice. And I actually dilute it with water, so it, so I get like eight servings, really, when I do that. And all kinds of different beet juices and carrot juices and amazaki, a lot of uh, pre-made smoothie mixes. Again, vegan, 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 you know? It's almost like everything's vegan except for the animal products. And we didn't show those, because why would we? Uh, the yogurts, they have many different flavors of vegan yogurt, and they make them in almond and in coconut and... Uh, I forget, there's one other, what is it? Coconut, almond, I forget what the third base was. Cashew, that's right. And uh, different flavors. Yeah, they have sugar, but you know, it's vegan, baby. And again, more juice. And I saved the best for last, my very favorite Trader Joe's product, Cruciferous Crunch fondly known as Crew Crew. My husband eats this every day for breakfast. We just take a bag, cook it in the three quart instant pot on high pressure for four minutes to five minutes with four cups of water. He eats the greens. I drink the broth known as pot liquor. We make soups out of it. Things like the veggie lovers all veggie soup or use it in raw salads. I love Cruciferous Crunch. I love Trader Joe's. Thank you Trader Joe's for being such a vegan friendly store.